Well, I guess you're going to get two videos back to back because, see, I was really lazy and didn't actually edit the last one yet to post it up for you. Anyway, we are headed up into the woods for probably about six days to go camping. And you can see Zyra in the background there with her nice little face mask since she likes to go out in public like I'm being mean to her. She's not allowed to be in here without it because I don't want to get sick if she is. Anyway, we are headed out Highway 2 up to Stevens Pass area, very familiar country. Um, probably be a boring video, but you know, hey, is what it is. <laughs> of course, it can't be a journey in like Western Washington without what? How many cars can you count? Yeah, lots of people. Hopefully nobody's actually camping and we can get up here and have a little fun. I'm just gonna let it roll for a little while and this is gonna go really fast for you. It's gonna be really slow for us. campsite. Well, this is exactly the one I was going for because I knew I'd have a 4G internet connection here at camp. It's big. There's a stream. The river's just through the trees over here, remember? I think we hung up your hammock like back in here last time. Well, my intent was to, you know, show you the pathway up here while we were driving, but I didn't really film while we were driving, so we ran into some crazy traffic, which was kind of odd. But here is camp. Kind of a pretty little spot. We've used it before. Works out good because I actually have an internet connection here so I can work. Right down there, hard to see through the trees, is actually the Skykomish River. This is just a little creek. It'll feed down and into it. There's our tent, way over there, there's a jeep, I think there's some girls there, I see some pink heads. Got a little friend, he came in earlier, he was all screaming at me, do you like the bug net? It works, there's a lot of mosquitoes. And he's all like sitting here screaming and screaming. And I finally threw him a piece of my sandwich and got all excited. Flew away, came back, begged, begged, got more sandwich, flew away. Then he's back again. Maybe I shouldn't feed the wildlife, eh?
Well, I didn't do the best job filming on the way up here, but I got you a little bit of the road. I'll get you some of the gnarlier parts maybe on the way back down. It's uh, not in the best of shape. But anyway, I just wanted to show you what's behind me. Actually, let's do it this way. I will spin around, flip the camera. How's that? Look at all those waterfalls rushing down the cliffs up there. Wide angle view. Kind of pretty. Anyway, just thought I'd share. I think we're going to stop here, maybe make some food, maybe get a cup of coffee in me before we roll back down to the more mosquito laden areas. See you soon. misty, rainy wonderland that is the Cascades. You know how much everybody loves that, but I kind of do. It's kind of nice up in the woods when it's like this. It's almost like a different reality. Anyway, we're flying over Stevens Pass. Don't know where we're going. We're just avoiding mosquitoes and raindrops. I'm going to let the camera run for a little bit so you can see some scenery. See, so when you go far enough, you can get away from the people and the rain, not the mosquitoes. They're still all over. Kind of sucks. Cool little area we found, though. Just kind of walking you around, letting you see it. Wouldn't be a bad campsite. Road wasn't too bad getting in. It was a little narrow, but wasn't too, too horrible. Probably the worst part of it was like right as we were coming up into this area, but even that wasn't significant. I didn't put it in four wheel drive, but didn't need it. Could have just rolled up here. Yeah, and then right down below us, there's another nice campsite. Not too bad, right? I think Shiloh's off checking out all the vegetation because, see, everything's a little bit different. We're on the, the eastern central, shall we say, cast Cascades. And so your ground cover and everything's different trees are a little more open it's just a eh, little little change of scenery we found a little rubber boa mosquitoes are like swarming me while i'm trying to show you thank you like please leave me alone i am a poop and you're playing with me
Looks like a big worm, not a snake, huh? Goodbye, little guy. Into his home. Well, good morning. So it is, I believe, Sunday morning today. Um, figured I'd check in, say hello. I haven't really filmed a whole lot during this, like, wander. You know, it's having folks with me, it's, it's kind of awkward almost talking to the camera and having knowing somebody's listening to you. I know that sounds weird, but it it's true. Um, and we spent a lot of time just kind of driving around. And I hate to fill a video with nothing but, like, high-speed driving clips. There's got to be more to it than that, right? Um, so anyway, Sunday morning. Yesterday turned out to be fairly rainy. Um, it was started drizzling right off down here, but it wasn't too bad. We decided that we were going to head east to try and get away from the rain. Um, so after drifting up the passaways, we got into some sunshine. We kind of picked the first Forest Service road that we had no clue what was down it and drove it and as i rephrased it she's like well it's not very often we drive all the way on top of a mountain and i'm like what do you mean she's like this is the highest point and we were at least for you know that particular hill i don't know if i'd really call it a mountain but it was kind of fun got to see some new terrain uh doesn't really look like it was too exciting when you watch the video as far as the like driving and it really wasn't it was pretty easy four-wheel drive I don't even know if I needed four-wheel drive. It's just it always makes it so you don't spin, right? And then after that, we came down and we decided, well, hell, we're probably only like 30 miles from Leavenworth. Let's just run over there and grab something to eat, which turned into a longer journey because Leavenworth was like hopping with an art festival and we didn't want to deal with the people. Um, so we ended up all the way over in Wenatchee. Had lunch over there. Um, went and hung out by the Columbia River for a little bit, did the Pipe Bus Market, and then came back over here to camp. Probably got back into camp about 7, 7.30. It's probably about 7. Um, we didn't really need to make dinner. We'd eaten a lot, so we just kind of hung out um, in the truck. Um, it was raining. The mosquitoes are thick. Um, so we really uh, just kind of hung out. <laughs> All that being said, it rained off and on most of the night. It's still drizzling occasionally this morning, but not so bad. It's definitely getting nice and uh, warm, and I'm starting to see sun patches like shooting out through the trees. Um, hoping it dries off, and I wish the mosquitoes would die, but that's not going to happen. So, what's on the agenda for today? I don't know. Guess we'll see what the girls are up to as they wake up, huh? Talk to you later. Looks like a pretty narrow road. Damn, I cleaned this out like last fall with a machete. It's going back a lot. I do know where I'm going, or I wouldn't have gone down in there a little tunnel like that. This might not be necessary, but you'll see why in a minute why I did that. secret Bryceley camping site up here. It's not totally secret because I have found other people here. <clears throat> the beginning of the road makes it look like there's not really any possibility of anything up here. Yeah, I totally didn't need to put it before. I have. 
you guys have it with me. Should we see how she actually did there? Not too bad with the rifle. It was only about 40 feet, but still not too bad, eh? So typical Zyra fashion. Adventuring turns into reptile hunting. These are kind of cool like rock lizards you don't normally see like out here. Kind of a cool guy. He's kind of a feisty one too, though. Seems to have chilled down now. Cause I'm warm. Very cool little Lizzie. I could build you a really nice tank. You'd have lots of fun. hard to get us all in here. We're all too close to the camera because it's on the dash. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed Zyra's like, you know, shooting expertise. She's actually getting pretty damn good with that pistol apparently. She was shooting not too bad. Better with a rifle though. I think unfortunately she might have mom beat at this point of the game. Not bad. <laughs> anyway, we have coined this particular campsite we're not staying in, the Lizard Hill, because of the lizard you get to watch a video of. But Shiloh found something else kind of cool, and there's no way I'm going to be able to catch them on video for you. But there are these little tiny red hummingbirds, and when I say little tiny, I think, think more like a giant bee than a small bird. It's kind of cool. They're like all over up here flying around. So anyway, we're going to wander on, just saying hello as the embarrassed girls sort of look at the camera awkwardly and laugh. Wait. <laughs> what? what? <laughs>
we found a forest service road that somebody plowed. How awesome is that? You can actually go up here where there's still a lot of snow. Normally, you know, we would have had to have turned around. Well, we know actually, because we ran into that just a little bit ago, about, oh, 300 feet lower than we are right now. But I think so we're gonna make it to the top of this mountain. Sweet. Kinda cool to be able to get up this high when mm -hmm. there's still all this snow. I have to remember they plow this, because that means we can probably get up here in the dead of winter. Kind of neat. Right, because I mean, if there's this much snow on June 20th, imagine how deep it must be in like January. So we gave you lizards and snakes. Want some more creepy crawlies? What the hell is that thing Zyra's picking up? They bite, by the way, really hard. Yeah, I'm wearing gloves. Right next to his friend, the slug. Uh-oh, better watch out, slug. The slug's like, oh no. Would you like to find one of those crawling around in your bed in the morning? Looks like it's dinner time over there, huh? We're going pretty simple tonight. Just having some hot dogs, not even roasting them over the fire. Mmm. Tyra's making hers better with some cheese, it looks like. A do-it-yourself camouflage job. If only it was, like, green, it would probably work, right? Man, I have to wash that shit when we get home. Well, another day's coming to a close. Probably doesn't look like it. Looking at the camera screen, it looks like it's pretty bright out here. But, been kind of an interesting day. Got to get up in some, some higher country, see some snow, catch some lizards, shoot some guns. Hasn't been too bad. No big hikes or anything like we used to always do, but hey, that's all right. Sometimes the Jeep does the hiking for you, and in the end, that's probably a good thing. I'm less tired and had just as much fun, right? All right, well, just kind of signing off. Let's go check in on the girls and see what they're up to, and we'll go from there. Yummy hot dog. Gotta like looking the other way, huh? Yep. That's why we do this. Now they have to look at you. I think if I film them long enough, they'll just start talking. I have 250 gigs of memory. This could go for hours. <laughs> wow, look at that purdy sky. It's like that everywhere. It's dark, pretty blue. No clouds. No rain. Yep, purdy sky. Good. I need the opportunity to do some tent drying out and all of that good stuff. So it'll be a good thing to, to have some blue sky and some sunshine. Unfortunately, I gotta work for a little bit, but that's okay. The girls are asleep, probably won't be up for a while. So we'll see how all that goes. It's so weird. I keep looking at that screen. It always makes me look like I'm looking off to the side. I should be looking at the camera right there. There. Well, Monday early afternoon, and I'm we're hanging out in the Jeep working. You can probably see the girls back in the background right about, oh, there above my finger walking off. 
They're headed for a little wander through the woods to a nice rocky beach to hang out in the sun, get away from the mosquitoes. I'm hanging out in the Jeep because I have afternoon calls. Um, I pretty much worked this whole trip, which has been, you know, fine and just kind of a part of things. And it's actually nice in a way because it allows me to keep up on everything, maintain pressure on my projects, uh, continue to, you know, support people and work with people and answer questions and do silly little stuff sometimes like, you know, writing a script for them on how to talk to uh, a client they're working on. Um, well, at the same time, you know, I'm sitting out here in the country I love and I'm getting to wander around and do stuff. Um, you know, I get done with calls. I head up into the deeper mountains or down on the river. The weekend we wandered all over hell and back. It's, it's kind of nice. But anyway, I'm just recording a little snippet here and then I'm going to finish up my calls and we'll see what we're up to this afternoon. I should be wrapping up by about five today. Um, which still gives us, you know, it's right after solstice, certain other like four or five hours of daylight to go and do something. So, good times. Anyway, talk to you later. Colorful fire. Let's see if I can make it turn out on video here. Blue and green and purple.